What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to show you guys an awesome present for Musashan. It is this thing right here. It smells like plastic. It smells like awesomeness for musicians. Yeah! I'm going to show you guys a demo by making a beat and dancing to it at the end of this video. Stay tuned! Here is the Akai MPK Mini. It is a MIDI keyboard, M-I-D-I. And that just means it's basically like a remote for the computer for whatever DOS system you're using. It connects through USB to your computer. It's got eight drum pads. It's got a nice 25 key keyboard. It's got some controls for the drum pad, a bank A and B, full level control, octave up and down tempo, a toggle. There's so much that this keyboard has. It's so small, hence the name mini. <laughs> It's so convenient. It's just a little bit smaller than my laptop. This is the size of the keyboard on top of my MacBook. And my MacBook is a 13 inch 2010 unibody. And it fits right over it with a little bit of the body from the MacBook still showing. So it's very small, very thin as well. This is my hand holding up the keyboard. Um, it's about how small it is. It's really light as well. I won't get too deep, I just want to focus on the functionality and how much this thing has to offer for just $100 from Guitar Center. I will leave a link in the description so that you guys can see the specs and check them out on a different website. Alright, so like I said, this thing is portable, it's small, it's convenient, it's great, yes, and it does so much for its size and its price. I highly recommend this for any musician. One thing to remember when making a beat whether that is like a hip hop beat or even like an EDM electronic beat, you want to keep the tempo. So I'm using GarageBand and I had the tempo set at 170 BPM beats per minute. And um, you want to keep up with that beat. So even if you got to practice before you go, before you start recording the beat, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so that wasn't bad. So I practiced a little bit before I actually started recording the beat. All right, so now I'm gonna start recording. One cool thing about beat making is that you can loop the beat over and over again. You don't have to keep over and over and over again. You can just loop and loop and loop. Depending on what doll you use, you can have the beat loop over and over again because it's MIDI. It's recorded through a MIDI signal instead of like with the microphone. I won't get too deep into GarageBand either. There's a lot that I could explain, but for now, I just want to show you guys what this thing has to offer. So now I'm going to record the melody. So just like you practice the beat, you want to practice the melody before you record and make sure that it goes along with the tempo and the beat that you've already recorded. Here, I'll show you. All right, you see? I've practiced it. Hopefully I have it down enough for me to record. So now it's time to record. And there goes your melody. And the cool thing is, depending on what software you use, you can loop the melody over and over and over again, just like you loop the beat over and over again. Again, because this is recorded through a MIDI signal. When you have the beat and the main melody, you can add more to the melody, like this. Let's see how that sounds with the beat.
So far we have the beat, the main melody, and a little bit of flavor added to the melody. Now we can add a few more things such as chords. Watch this. Now we have the beat, the main melody, a little bit of flavor added to the main melody, and even more flavor. If you have a MacBook, you have GarageBand free. You don't have to worry about paying 200 million billion jillion the American debt for a DAW system. There it is. We just made a simple song with just this keyboard and a laptop. Now we can have fun with the beat.